हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट लॉस मोशन एंगल सो बिफोर बिगिंग टॉपिक आई वांट टेल यू दैट आई हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटेड द फुल सीरीज ऑफ द चेन ड्राइव एंड इफ यू वांट टू नो फ्रॉम बेसिक टू एडवांस अबाउट द चेन ड्राइव व्हिच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग एमयू क्लास 2 एंड एमयू क्लास 4 प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इन माय प्ले सेक्शन एंड और यू कैन क्लिक द आई बटन हियर शोइंग अबव वेयर यू विल see the that so let's begin the video today of loss motion angle today what we are going to see is what is loss motion after that we'll see how it uh, means why it is required first and after that means how the loss motion angle is been uh, implemented and why it is not required for exhaust valve so the video will be going be interesting so please remain tuned to last to learn loss motion angle so first let's go by definition what is a lost motion the adjustment in the cam position relative to the cam crankshaft needed to be done when changing the direction of movement of engine is called lost motion angle so what i mean to say is that as we are changing the crankshaft rotation in a head or aston direction we need to make sure the cam shaft which is been actuating the fuel pump or exhaust valve is aligned properly for its actuation also this is carried out by realigning the cam shaft with respect to crank shaft whenever there is a change in direction of movement and this realignment of cam position is called lost motion so let's see it will you will understand better in next slide so in this diagram as you can see the engine is moving just above tdc and the engine nudging in ahead direction and just above tdc the cam is about to reach at its peak means the beginning of injection is about to happen when the engine is running in ahead direction now same thing i have written here let us take a scenario in which the engine is running in a head direction and number 1 unit is just before the tdc marking beginning of injection as you can see here the follower is just rising the peak of the cam okay now suppose at this moment of time aston kick is given so what will happen now the scenario has changed means now the scenario has changed means now the rotation is going to be like this same thing means same thing now suddenly the aston direction is given so what will have a scenario hole will be changed at that time this now what it mark as you can see this diagram now this mark the end of injection now this mark the end of injection now at this time the aston movement is given and engine is running direction will change now the same scenario which mark the beginning of injection now mark the end of injection now as you can see by follower movement it is moving down from the peak of the cam so in order to time the fuel pump correctly we need to adjust the response in such a way that it is correctly aligned with the crankshaft movement this repositioning is called loss motion angle this required so that in aston direction also fuel pump should mark the beginning of injection now what will happen if we realign the thing means if at this position if we at that this position which mark the end of injection if we realign here means if we realign this way as you can see if we re means it was in this way if we realign in this way then it will also mark the beginning of injection okay so this realignment is called loss motion so as you can see as i am clear i hope i am clear means this was the first scenario in a head direction having this movement marking the beginning of injection now as the aston movement was given 
now this mark the end of injection but in Ashton diagram it should also mark the beginning of injection how we are going to do it we are going to realign the cam position here means we place the if we place the cam here from here to here from here to here it will also mark the beginning of injection as it rotated in Ashton direction this repositioning of cam is called lost motion angle and this diff is been employed by different manufacturer by different method like soldier employed reversing servo motor mechanism and man bmw employed reversing cylinder mechanism means in soldier the whole cam is moved but in man bmw the follower is moved more detail of the reversing servo motor arrangement and reversing cylinder arrangement will be explained in my later video so please remain tuned now the second question come to our mind is if a loss angle is occurred then why we are adjusting only the fuel pump why we are not adjusting the exhaust valve means here you are adjusting the fuel cam position only you are not adjusting the exhaust valve position why because of the reason in two stroke engine the exhaust valve doesn't need to be retimed why because exhaust valve is equidistant means what i do i mean by equidistant about the bottom down center it means that the exhaust valve first see the timing diagram this is the end of injection this is tc end of injection now if when exhaust valve open around 110 degree at after TGC again scavenge open then BDC then scavenge close then exhaust valve close and again beginning of injection now suppose this is the direction of rotation was earlier now the rotation has changed to this if the rotation has changed to this again the same thing is there means again 110 degree open then close soldier open scavenge open scavenge close and exhaust close so same thing is there means about equidistance to TGC so the timing diagram for the exhaust valve is same almost same and hence it doesn't require retiming though the angle of means direction of rotation is changed but in some cases as we have seen in the modified two stroke engine the exhaust valve is no more equidistance in older engine the exhaust valve used to be equidistance but in more modern engine the exhaust valve is no more equidistance it is slightly 15 degree misalign with the compared to earlier one but that much of misalignment will not affect and will not cause much loss of power and hence it acceptable means as you know the engine is been built for running mostly in a head direction so if it is still in modern engine if the exhaust valve is slightly not equidistant it still is acceptable as the engine will run in Ashton direction for a little amount period of time okay and hence we don't need to retime exhaust valve because you know this retiming employed different method which will increase the complexity of the engine to prevent the increase of complexity we are avoiding such thing so i hope you understand how the lost motion angle is taking place and how we are rectifying it and how it is employed by soldier and man bmw engine and uh, what is lost motion so please friend please do like and subscribe my video and please share with your friend if you like it and image credit goes to myinresult.co.uk thank you friend